you today no stick here from love more than an accent i hope you're doing amazing welcome back to my channel on this channel i do subscription box unboxing so if you're into that i'd love to have you subscribe please watch the whole video i'm very very close to my hours to be monetized we're gonna throw a huge party when i am because this has been a long time coming goal of mine so yes and welcome back if this is not your first time and thank you so much for your support i do go live every thursday at 5 p.m uh pacific time and i do giveaways so if you're bored and you have nothing to do grab a favorite drink and come and chat with me i'm trying to figure out how to do like a stream where a lot of people can come on camera kind of like a zoom call in a way so i'll figure that out and let you guys know if you guys want to pop in also and show your face i would love that as well so today i have the her mine box and this is a monthly lifestyle subscription i have some info i opened once in the past you can choose the uh, mini size it has three to five full and deluxe sample size products or the deluxe is five to eight full is full and deluxe sample size products and this is a aromatherapy beauty wellness and lifestyle subscription box primarily featuring products by women owned businesses and uh, let me see the prices I didn't know about the mini the mini is thirty four ninety five I'm trying to speak a little slower um, so you can understand me better. And the deluxe is a $44.95. Sometimes I have to catch myself. I'm like, I'm speaking too fast and you might not understand because of my accent. So Sue from Reviews with Sue told me, maybe speak a little slower, I, but I love your accent. She was telling me, because sometimes I'm like, maybe people don't like my accent. And that's why people don't watch. I don't know. Um, but <clears throat> let's open it up. Something smells really good already. So we have a card, thank you card and a booklet that says thankful and then the beautiful packaging that says packed just for you by Trudy. I think this is a mother daughter duo and her mind uh, it's a um, it's in honor of I think it's Trudy's sister and uh, the, her daughter's aunt Hermione so that passed away unfortunately um, and it says here hi Lucia thank you for taking the time to review your box we look forward to seeing your thoughts this month's box is filled with items specially curated to remind you to be thankful as we are thankful for you because you're awesome oh Pam and Trudy okay oh that kind of makes me a little emotional right now I, I have to hold it together so we have thankful in November 2020 what's in the box and they oh three things I'm thankful for they have a little thankful thankfulness prompt and then all the items and information about the makers so they have different categories adorn embellish savor soothe and warmth oh and then this I'm sorry December box the exclusive theme reveal I see some kind of like is that, I don't know if it's cotton feels like a beautiful, um, maybe it's no, I don't know. This isn't to celebrate you and all that you have thrived through 2020. This is really the season of you. Woo, 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 Trudy, Trudy and Pam. And this is them, beautiful ladies. I don't know if they send me the mini or the deluxe, we'll find out. Ooh, right on top we have the Hope Shop. Fair Trade Handmade Global Impact support educate impact and they curate ethically sourced impactful brands that provide meaningful work and opportunities all over the world transform lives with how you shop love that see in a sec and maybe i'll just go through everything i mean i'll open everything and then we'll go through the makers and the items that would make it easier maybe okay so i just want to show you how everything came tucked in there's a mug in there by pink me pinky up the tea their makers I didn't know they made mugs as well. That's pretty cool. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's 14 ounce ceramic mugs, mug, hand washed, recommended, and do not microwave. So Pinky Up has the coolest packaging and really yummy tea blends. I have a full spice somewhere here that I should be making more of. Sometimes if it's caffeinated, um, I can't have it at night. And that's usually when I have tea. But I also have a matcha, a blue matcha mix that I need to make soon as well. Okay, let's open this up. I don't know how they fit everything in there. <laughs> oh, look how gorgeous this is. It has that gold splatter and gold rim and it's just absolutely beautiful. So this might go in my little tea station. It's kind of crowded here. I have to be honest, like it's so hard to have like one of surface. 
to put everything and yes and i need a little bit of an extension cord for my tea but this is great for tea so you make it with hot water you drink it and you don't need to microwave it or coffee but it's so beautiful love it love mugs i don't know why i have such a i have such a weakness for cute mugs anyway that's a great item next up we have by oh hermione themselves <clears throat> excuse me apple orchard hand pour soy candle so they started doing their own <clears throat> oh my gosh this smells so good and this even red oh my gosh this smells so amazing <sighs> this smells amazing truly you guys made a really good job with this candle it's it's better than I thought it would be for uh, Apple Orchard. Then we have this cute clippy. And I don't know what it is. I don't think it goes around my wrist. I was trying to see, but no. Uh, but it's just beautiful. Kind of like a faux leather uh, rose gold. I'll see what it is. Maybe like a keychain. I'll read, but it's very pretty. That's going to go straight into my keys or something. Thanksgiving Blend by Javaroma. I've, uh, I'm familiar with this brand because I've seen it in uh, the Introverted Chick boxes. Limited Dark Roast Edition and they're always really, really good. And I love their, their packaging as well. So excited. We have some mug and coffee. We love that. Then we have here a Friendship Bracelet. And this is the, I believe, the, um, yes, the uh, Hope, the Hope Shop. Show your BFF how much you're thankful for them. Give a bracelet and keep one for yourself. Um, hands producing hope. And I believe these are made of recycled paper, these bracelets. I've had a couple in the past. Very pretty. I might make, give the red one to my mom because she's in a way my best friend. Because <laughs> she loves red. So that is beautiful. Okay. Ooh, look what I found here. We are oh, yeah, a tiny little bottle of uh, matches. And they have like the tips are pink and uh, darker pink and the lighter is there. How do you call that? I can't remember. I love this tiny little bottles are so special. So perfect they think about that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next up we have a strop waffle. I don't know what's going on, but I've had strop waffles in several boxes or I've seen other boxes previewing them in two pieces. But this is perfect because they give you the mug, they give you the coffee. Uh, they give you the candle and the matches and now they give you this strip waffle to put on top of your coffee so the caramel melts. Perfection you guys. How yummy. Oh my goodness. Then we have one more thing I believe. And I believe this is might be the deluxe I'm counting seven eight items right now if I'm not mistaken. Okay so we have a little pouch and oh, oh my gosh this is the heart and it says thankful carved in it and this is so beautiful this could be like a paperweight or just you know a piece of decor so let's go through the items in the booklet we have the friendship bracelets and Rebecca is the founder and CEO of Hans Producing Hope. It started in 2010 when Rebecca lived in Costa Rica for six months and began to learn about the discrimination and hardships a native people group called the Guaymi face on a daily basis. She visited the Copi Abajo Reservation for the first time and began dreaming of what her role in the community would be. And then... Um, they were in need of a market, the women. So she basically gave them uh, a market or helped them create a market for them to do um, items. And they've seen a lasting positive impact that consumers can make on livelihoods of entire communities. So that's amazing. I can't believe that in Costa Rica, there's still discrimination among their own people. It's just, it's just insane. I mean, it happens in the US too, right? So in the embellish section we have a pink speckled ceramic mug by uh pinky up and they have female tea lovers as the founders uh they're created in 2016 in seattle washington by a group of women who love tea and want high quality ingredients but don't relate to the new age and stuffy images of other tea brands <laughs> i wonder what that means stuffy images <laughs> and then we have a rose gold leather snap keychain 
uh, add some flair to your keys with this handmade leather snap keychain by Danielle and from the purple chickadee and she is known as a 20 something soul creator behind the purple chickadee she has always been one to have multiple crafts on her desk at one time and she decided in 2015 to turn her craft into a business so that was the beautiful keychain strap then we have stroop waffles oh i didn't know wow okay so this is the finger licking dutch llc is uh co the co-founder is femke Wielentorf. <laughs> Uh, she grew up in the Netherlands and she would visit the local Dutch market to buy caramel strip waffles So she started finger licking Dutch with her partner John a former NFL player. That is crazy On one of their first dates she gave John a traditional Dutch food package with strip waffles in it. Oh How sweet I'm getting emotional again. I don't know what's wrong with me you guys <laughs> Just like ah um thanksgiving blend ground coffee we have by joanna the founder of javaroma and um she wants to provide exceptional coffee and support sustainability and the coffee industry so that is awesome five years strong a spicy full body brew with subtle herbal tones that warm up on a cool fall day love it we'll probably make this tomorrow morning and then oh that was savor so we have savor and then soothe we have a hand carved soapstone heart. This colorful etched thankful heart is a fair trade product handmade in Kenya. It is hand carved out of stone, sanded, dyed, and then etched all using simple hand tools. Used as a paperweight to keep the cool stone in the palm of your hand or keep the cool stone in the palm of your hand and rub it in your thumb for stress relief. And Jenny is the founder of Venture Imports. And that is awesome she took uh, basically she imports things from Kenya and that is so cool so beautiful and then we have warmth homey and inviting apple orchard candle we are including these folk products that we hope will delight you and the scent of apples is a crisp and fresh way of to bring the feeling of the season to your home we included matches I think this candle is I I want I want to know this is not only apple it's something else and it's really unique and delicious and i love it i love the amber jar too and the packaging it is so good you guys did such a good job and the founders are trudy and pam pam <laughs> um and it says when hermione was alive the three of us were more like sisters that feeling of love and support is what we hope you feel with each and every box you receive and there's a quote here a woman without her sister is like a bird without her wings that did it that did it guys i was holding it but in this uh quote is by musa rahat i don't know if i'm in the time of the month it's like actually going away but i don't know why i'm so emotional maybe it's just like the box is really um touching that place in my heart i'm sorry um those are my makeup but it's okay um my two sisters are in argentina and i do miss them so much Anyway, if I keep talking, I'm going to keep crying. But um, my parents are planning a trip to Argentina in 2022. And they are offering to pay for me, my husband and my kids. They're starting to pay. The tickets are actually very, very cheap right now because of the pandemic. I don't know if in 2022 it's going to be open. Um, but my sisters, I have two sisters and a brother. They don't know. Um, none of them know my Wesley and Walter, my two little ones. And I don't know in person have two nephews so um i just really miss them i guess i'll talk about it in another time because i won't stop crying right now but yeah i love and i miss my sisters hasmin and laura so so much my brother too um, i have a picture here of my sister laura and this is me when we were starting i think either in my sixth grade or seventh grade and this is laura and she um when she was in senior year of high school she started having symptoms and they diagnosed her with multiple sclerosis so she's been with health problems uh, not being able to walk um, properly for years so I feel like in a lot of ways I we had uh, she always loved me but I was very jealous as a kid and I kind of beat her up you know as an older brother, older sister I was always like torturing her and taking her for granted and I feel like after I moved to the US I realized she was like my best friend my whole life so sorry Trudy and Pam to get so emotional opening your box but I guess like 
maybe that was the purpose but just to um touch my heart you know touch her hearts and definitely does that um i am so lucky that i have two sisters hasmin is nine years younger than me and uh recently as she became a mom and we became older it would become a lot closer i always thought of her as my little sister and i had <clears throat> I had kind of like a motherly uh, relationship with her, not that she necessarily considers me like her mom or anything. Um, but yes, like my sister Laura is one of my best friends in the whole world and um, I just get emotional thinking about her health, health challenges too and how she overcomes and keeps growing, educating herself, um, learning new things and just trying to rise above her situation and hopefully she will be able to walk again soon. She's still like getting... Uh, physical therapy and trying different things but if you are a Christian I would love for you to pray for her as well and um, hopefully they'll be able to move to the US soon but in the, in 2022 we are hoping that everything works out and we can go visit uh, for a month my parents are turning their their 40 year anniversary is coming up in 2022 so they're gonna do a party um, it's gonna be in December because it's the best time for us to go because of the school and everything but their anniversary is in May we also have my dad's sister that we recently found after years and years of looking for her actually they found us and I have five cousins that I don't never met and it also makes me so sad that I didn't grow up like grew up with them because I never had like a girl cousin we had one boy cousin and little ones and there's three girls that are kind of my age so it makes me so sad in a way that um that i couldn't grow up having them as cousins but we're gonna meet hopefully in 2022 so anyway this was an amazing box you guys um i think you know a lot of thought goes into it and um and they really touch the spot in my heart right now <laughs> the beautiful mug we have a candle and this scent is amazing I'm gonna ask them exactly what it is. We have this beautiful heart. It matches my nails, you guys, look. My nails for a DIY nail shack, and so pretty, love the color. We have a yummy coffee blend. We have a strop waffle. We have a keychain. Snap the um, matches in beautiful friendship bracelets. So, yes i think that's everything but it was such an amazing box i love everything i think the value is there as well i love that it supports women entrepreneurs and artisans uh, all over the world really and um yes and if you have a mom alive or a sister alive i think this is the time to forgive to ask for forgiveness and to repair relationships because um, let me tell you with my mom too. I always have like a love-hate relationship uh, One time a therapist told her that I competed with her as a child and I was like seven years old And I think like I wasn't I didn't compete with my mom, but she's amazing and I know that um, I'm never gonna be the woman she is she is like up there and um, but I lived in the US for like, I don't know, almost 10 years without my parents and having them close, it is now like priceless, you know, and realizing as an adult how amazing my parents are, even though after, you know, you go through a stage where your parents are your heroes, then they fall down the pedestal <laughs> because they're human and they're not perfect. Um, but um, then it's almost like you learn again as you become an adult and you realize that you are not perfect how amazing your parents are or at least mine and they're not perfect they made mistakes we suffer through those mistakes uh they made financial decisions that made us suffer or whatever you know but and i used to talk to other people about that and resent and resenting them oh my parents you know and this and that they're such a burden and now i realized that um first i was wrong about you know saying this sometimes i need to vent but i realized that despite their mistakes they're amazing and they're better than a lot of other parents that i see uh, a lot of other grandparents that I see and they're just so loving, they're forgiving, they don't hold grudges, they're always just loving and serving. So anyway, let's not start again with the waterworks, but go hug your mom, go hug your sisters, brothers, because you never know how long we have, you know, on this earth. And okay <laughs> this is the first time i've cried on camera i think with you guys i hope i don't lose you i'm sorry i don't know what it is um but thank you so much for joining me on another video i hope you enjoyed it 
please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on my next video hopefully with drier eyes <laughs> have a great day guys love you bye